Something extraordinary is unfolding behind the glass walls of Apple Park right now. If you look closely at the supply chain, the internal code names, and the shifting strategy of the world's most valuable tech company, you'll realize that most people are missing the real story. On the surface, it looks like just another chip upgrade cycle. We expect more performance, better efficiency, and smaller nanometers every year. But when you step back and connect the leaks pointing toward 2026, a much bigger and more disruptive picture emerges. Apple is not just refreshing its desktop lineup. Apple is quietly dismantling an entire legacy product category and replacing it with a radically different vision of what desktop computing should be. This is a vision built around smaller machines, extreme efficiency, and performance that punches so far above its weight that it makes the competition look like they are standing still. At the center of this massive shift is the upcoming M5 generation. If you are planning to buy a high-end desktop Mac today, or even a powerful Windows PC tower, you may want to pause. What Apple is preparing for mid-2026 could fundamentally change how value, performance, and form factor are defined in the global desktop market. This is not a normal upgrade cycle. This is a strategic reset of the highest order. To understand why 2026 is so different, we have to look at the big picture. For decades, desktop computers followed a very predictable and honestly boring pattern. Bigger cases meant more power. If you wanted speed, you needed more fans, more heat sinks, and a massive power supply that pulled hundreds of watts from your wall. Performance always scaled with physical size and cost. Apple Silicon shattered that assumption once already with the M1, but the M5 era appears ready to finish the job and kill the tower PC for good. What makes 2026 the golden year for Apple is that they're aligning hardware, silicon architecture, pricing, and product positioning all at once. This almost never happens in the tech world. Historically, Apple tweaks one lever at a time. One year they update the design, the next year they update the chip. This time, Every single lever is moving together. Leaks tied to internal development builds and supply chain chatter suggest Apple is no longer interested in competing at the top end with massive, expensive machines that only serve a tiny niche. Instead, Apple is doubling down on compact desktops that deliver shockingly high performance per dollar. And yes, that means a legendary product is being left behind forever. We have to address the elephant in the room early, the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro was once the ultimate symbol of professional computing power. It was the dream machine for every editor, designer, and developer. But today, it is effectively reaching the end of its road. The current Mac Pro already feels like a relic. It uses an aging ultra-class chip and delivers performance that is often matched or even beaten by much cheaper Macs. It carries a price tag that makes less sense with every passing day. Developers and studios have noticed this. More importantly, Apple has noticed it. Multiple reports now suggest that the development of future Ultra chips specifically intended for the Mac Pro has been halted. Not delayed, not reprioritized, but stopped. This is not speculation based on vibes. It is based on missing references and internal code and a total lack of momentum around modular tower hardware inside Apple's ecosystem. Apple has quietly accepted a hard truth. The traditional expandable tower no longer fits its silicon strategy. The old Mac Pro made sense in an era of discrete GPUs and PCI expansion cards. You could swap parts and upgrade memory. Apple Silicon flips that entire model upside down. Modern Apple chips integrate the CPU, GPU, memory, and AI accelerators into a single, tightly coupled system. This integration is exactly what gives Apple Silicon its massive efficiency advantage. But it also makes traditional expansion pointless. The Mac Pro's PCI slots can't meaningfully upgrade your graphics because the chip is the graphics. External GPUs are unsupported. Memory is fixed to the time of purchase. The giant Mac Pro case exists today mostly as empty volume. In a world where a compact box like the Mac Studio can deliver equal performance, the tower becomes symbolic rather than practical. And Apple is not a company that sells symbols for very long. Now look, T's enter the M5 generation. The real star of our story. The real story of 2026 isn't what Apple is killing. It's what Apple is replacing it with. The M5 generation represents the most aggressive leap Apple has planned since the original transition from Intel. This isn't just about faster cores or more efficiency. It's about redefining the very idea of what an entry-level and professional desktop can do. 
Two machines sit at the heart of this transformation, the 2026 Mac Mini and the next generation Mac Studio. Together, these two machines will effectively absorb the roles once spread across the iMac, the Mac Pro, and multiple tiers of high-end PCs. Let's start with the machine that may shock the industry the most, the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini has always been Apple's quiet overachiever. It was the bring your own mouse and keyboard Mac. It was small, affordable, and surprisingly capable. But the M5 version is expected to completely erase the line between a budget computer and a pro workstation. According to multiple credible sources, Apple plans to offer the Mac Mini with both M5 and M5 Pro configurations. That alone is significant, but the real headline is what the base M5 chip is capable of. We are talking about gaming performance that breaks all previous expectations. Early performance indicators suggest a dramatic uplift in GPU capability. We are looking at a leap large enough to put the Mac Mini into serious gaming territory. Leaked benchmark simulations point to performance increases of over 30% in GPU-heavy workloads. This means modern AAA titles running at high settings with stable frame rates on a machine that literally fits in the palm of your hand. This isn't just about turning Mac OS into a gaming platform overnight. It's about Apple finally delivering hardware that is so powerful and so common that developers can no longer ignore the platform. When a $600 desktop can run demanding games efficiently, the conversation changes for the entire industry. Gaming is only half the story, though. In creative tasks, the M5 Mac Mini looks even more impressive. Video editing, 3D rendering, and AI-assisted workflows will all benefit from Apple's rapidly evolving neural engines. The M5 generation is expected to deliver major gains in machine learning acceleration and real-time upscaling. Tasks that once required loud, power-hungry workstations can now be handled silently by a compact aluminum box sitting under your monitor. For independent creators, small studios, and developers, this changes everything. Performance is no longer locked behind expensive, oversized machines. But perhaps the most surprising part of the Mac Mini story is the pricing strategy. Apple's most aggressive move, yet, is keeping the entry price around the $599 mark. Think about that for a second. You are getting a machine capable of outperforming many traditional gaming PCs while consuming a fraction of the power at a price that undercuts the competition. This isn't generosity from Apple. It's a cold, calculated strategy. Apple wants the Mac Mini to be the default desktop choice for the world. They want it to be the device you buy without overthinking it. They want the machine that quietly pulls users away from Windows towers without needing flashy marketing. Internal code, names confirm that development is moving fast. Leaked firmware references reveal internal identifiers associated with these next generation models. These code names matter because Apple only assigns them once the hardware enters advanced testing stages. This means the M5 Mac Mini isn't just a concept on a whiteboard. It is real hardware already deep in validation. When Apple reaches this stage, product launches are measured in months, not years. You might hear some people complaining that there is no major redesign coming for the look of the Mini, but that is actually a good thing. Apple refreshes desktop design slowly because they focus on what's inside. The current enclosure is already efficient, familiar, and optimized for thermals. There is no need to change what already works. For years, the biggest criticism of Apple has been forced bundling. If you wanted a powerful GPU, you were forced to buy an equally powerful CPU, even if you didn't need it. That appears to be changing with the M5 architecture. Reports indicate that the M5 design may separate CPU and GPU resources more flexibly during the manufacturing process. This doesn't mean you can swap parts yourself, but it's Sue. Guess Apple can offer more tailored configurations. Imagine a Mac Mini optimized for creators who need extreme graphics power, but only modest CPU performance. This is a total game changer. It means less wasted money for the consumer and more purpose-built machines for specific jobs. When we look at the high-end, the M5 Max and M5 Ultra GPUs could finally rival high-end dedicated desktop graphics cards in real-world workloads. We aren't just talking about synthetic benchmarks anymore. We are talking about real-time 3D rendering, advanced motion graphics, and heavy AI workflows running smoothly in a silent, compact enclosure. No screaming fans, no massive power draw, and no complicated cooling loops. Just pure, raw performance. Despite these massive upgrades, the pricing is expected to remain stable. The Mac Studio will continue to offer a clear value proposition, high-end performance without the bloat. 
It is a professional machine that fits on your desk, not under it. As we look toward 2026, it is clear that a new desktop era is beginning. This year is shaping up to be one of the most important in computing history. It's not because of flashy designs or marketing buzz. It's because of a fundamental shift in priorities. Apple is betting that the world no longer wants massive machines to feel powerful. They are betting that we want performance that disappears into the background. We want tools that let us focus on our work, our creativity, and our ideas without the friction of heat, noise, and high costs. The M5 generation isn't just another upgrade. It is a declaration. The desktop computer isn't dying. It is finally evolving into its final, most efficient form. And when these machines arrive, the rest of the tech industry will have no choice but to respond. In my opinion, the M5 Mac Mini will be the single most important product Apple releases this decade. It represents the democratization of pro-level power. It takes the technology that used to cost thousands of dollars and puts it into a $599 box. If you're a student, a gamer, or a professional on a budget, the M5 era is exactly what you have been waiting for. The wait until 2026 might feel long, but based on everything we see happening behind the scenes at Apple Park, it will be worth every second. Apple is about to reset the clock on the desktop PC, and the M5 is the heart of that revolution. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of Apple Silicon and the M5 Mac Mini, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We track every leak and every supply chain signal to keep you ahead of the curve. Share this video with someone who is thinking about buying a new PC and hit the bell icon so you never miss a breaking update. What do you think about Apple killing the Mac Pro Tower? Is the M5 Mac Mini the future of your desk? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.